Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at ID World in Rio de Janeiro and I'm joined by Hegiani Romano. Yes. Thank you very much for joining me. You referred to yourself earlier as the grandmother of RFID. Yes. And you're going to be advocating RFID in the CEO vision. Tell me a bit about where that is and the situation specifically here in Brazil. Well, I'm working with RFID for almost 20 years now. So I could see all the changes that RFID has moved in the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. Now Brazil is wake up for this technology and I'm sure that this will be a good change around all the supply chain management. I work for retail and we did the first intelligent store here in Brazil. We put RFID for everything so when you receive the goods you can read the tags and compare with the fiscal electronic that we have here and we can we can check if the physical is the same of the logical okay. if there is something that is not good we say to the people that is are receiving the, the goods okay. When the customer goes inside the smart dressing room, if he is with this blazer, the system suggests everything for him. The trousers, the shoes, everything. And when they click on the video, the system sends a message to the, the salesman and he comes. With the right size. And yes. Yeah. Just okay. like if he <coughs> could imagine what customers would like to mm. receive. We integrated with the loss prevention, so when you pay, we save that all that articles are paid, and just in case, if you put something inside your bag that was not paid yet, mm -hmm. no problem, because when you go out, the camera is on, and we can do a, a movie, yeah. and we can show everything that was not paid yet. Okay. And they ask you to pay. Yeah, <laughs> and that's fair. Um, okay, so a couple of things there. The, what, was, what do you think was the tipping point that made the region wake up to RFID? Because it's been a long process. It's definitely been a, a solution trying to fit well with the problem. What was the tipping point that really made everybody wake up recently? Yes, because of the inventory, mm -hmm. because that tags are going down, the prices are going okay. down, but they need to yes. be, oh my yeah. God, that's the, the big problem. That's the driver. Yes. Yeah. They need to go down as soon as possible because yeah. if we have a tag here in Brazil, about 10 cents of a reais, mm -hmm. it would explode. Yeah. Because it, they know the, the big benefits about RFID, mm. but they cannot pay for the price because yeah. they compare with the barcode. They are both important technologies, but they are different and they have prices different too. Mm. But people here in Brazil want to do. I'm talking with a yeah. hundred retailers and they want to do, but the price is the problem now. Okay, and the key difference perhaps is the, is the way the data collected with RFID. It's, it's, it's collected on the fly, it's connected, collected without someone actually having to manually yeah. sp scan a yeah. barcode. And we've been talking this week to a lot of people about how data is collected and how it's used and some of the phrases that have been coming up is this idea of effortless collection. So you, if you can collect effortlessly and then you can use the data intelligently, which is what you're talking about, those things fit very well. That seems to suit RFID. Yeah, and uh, I think that the big data mm. will help them to understand the power of RFID because you don't need the, the, the contact with the mm. tag. They talk alone. So the Internet of Things will become a, a true mm. now. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm sure for 20 years that this will change the world. Mm. And I'm in the line waiting for this time. Yeah. But I'm sure that is arriving now. Yeah. yeah, so not another whole 20 years. And the other buzzword that we hear a lot about in terms of not just the retail side, but behind that is, is supply chain. Yeah, supply yeah. chain excellence, supply chain design, supply chain management. Again, effortless collection with RFID can play a part in not just the, the retail experience but all the way back through the manufacturing process I guess. Yes, I'm talking with many manufacturers that they wanted to put and they wanted to try in their distribution center, the logistics, the receiving goods, 
uh, the shipping goods. Mm. They wanted to take care of the uh, date because here in Brazil we have some troubles. If you have something at the supermarket and uh, the date will expire tomorrow, mm. you can be arrested. Okay. Yes. Really? So okay. Just this, it That's would serious. be a yeah. yes. The, the manager of the store can, can be arrested. Yes. For selling goods beyond their sell-by date. Yes. Wow. So RFID could help them. Yeah. yeah. They could say, hey, I'm going to, yeah. tomorrow I'll be out of here. You yeah. need to do something yeah. with me. Yeah. So put a low price and yeah. give to somebody. I don't yeah. know what you will yeah. should do. So in all supply chain, we will see big benefits with RFID. Mm. There are many studies, many cases around the world that can prove this. Yeah. Here in Brazil, there are some people starting to do uh, studying the technology and trying to prove the ROI, return right. on investment, and they can prove yeah. on the test that it's very nice, but the price again is the, the big yeah. problem. So if we can drive the price of the RFID uh, tag down, we can connect the consumer all the way back through the supply chain to the very beginning of the manufacturing process, complete visibility, complete data flow, but it has to be down to that low price. And if it goes down to that low price, the volumes will go up and that continues to drive pricing down. Every time that I show the solutions for the manufacturers, they get crazy. Yeah, I want it right now. Yeah. And then they say, oh, how much? How much? Uh, four cents because here in Brazil it's four cents of reais, yeah. the cheaper one. Yeah. And then they said, "Are you crazy? Four cents? If I put this on my line, oh, it will be a million, uh, yeah. million reais. Yeah. I can't put this in my price." And I said, but "Okay, don't look just for the price. Look for the benefits." Mm. Look for the cost that you will cut because yeah. you, you will reduce many process yeah. around all the supply chain. Yeah. They understand. Yeah. But they make still again <laughs> a calculation. Yes. Yeah. But so so is there is there a threshold? Is there a price that it needs to? Yes. It everybody needs to be says the same. Is the same. See five cents of reais. <laughs> okay. Oh. We are in fourth sense of reais now, okay. because our taxes are too big here okay. in Brazil. It's at least a hundred percent sometimes. Okay. So if he, for you it's ten cents, for us it's twenty cents of yeah. dollar, yeah. and then you put the dollar yeah. price here Change in Brazil, it, yeah. Yeah, it's it terrible. doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. So it needs to be driven. But down. again, I'm sure that it will happen. Well, the trend is. Yes, it's going it's down. There, isn't it? Brazil is create some manufacturers, tax yeah. manufacturers here. Okay. Because we have a project for government, yeah. Brazil ID, yeah. and they wanted to put in no product. Uh, the, the ship just like the barcode mm. and they want that you cannot put away this because they want to trace and track and to control the fiscal. Yeah. So I think uh, Brazil will do something very different from yeah. the other countries yeah. very soon. Yeah, and you have to do that. You have to have that global strategy, but you have to act locally to make it work for the financial requirements, the different social and, and yeah. government dynamics. We are beginning to put at the cars next year here in Brazil. Okay. All cars will be tagged. Okay. So uh, they wanted to trace and track to pay the tolls, the, to pay uh, parking and mm. things like that. After that, it will be at the product. So the price should go down yeah. because many people will need to use yeah. the technology. Yeah. I remember 30 years ago, uh, I was a teenager and I talked to my boss, we should put barcode in this product. And he said, are you crazy? That's too expensive. It's too expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Never. Are you crazy? I think it never will happen. And I said, it will. Yeah. It will arrive at yeah. the chocolate bar, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. And he said, never. So it's the so same. So hopefully you can go back and tell him that you were right and that he should be investing in yeah. RFID You know, now. 
I did my PhD about how RFID can improve customer experience mm -hmm. and the supply chain. And I wrote a book about this. And when I was at the mall, because I would uh, do a presentation about my mm -hmm. book, I met him. Okay. 30 years late. later. And then I said to him, Oh, do you know? Do you remember barcode? They <laughs> said, okay, all okay. my products are with barcode now. Yep. No, but you are old. Now you needed to put RFID. Oh, no, again, you no, again. More changes. <laughs> yes, you needed to change it because this is all the technology. So. But this time with experience, he should believe you anyway. Yes, and, yeah, it, so. and they sell uh, high uh, price product. product. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So, so he can pay this. He can do that. Yeah. Yes, and I. I show to him how it is important for all the supply chain. Supply chain management. Yeah. yeah. And he said, "Okay, now I believe in you. Now I'm going to sense. start to to, to start." Yes. Yeah. So I give him a book and I said, "Read everything. Then come back to talk with me, please." Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for stopping by. I look forward to the CEO vision this afternoon. Okay. I'm sure it'll be an interesting debate. But thank you very much. Thank you for this, you. the opportunity.